The following question is taken from Element 1, Workplace Hazards and Risk Control, and is covered in 1.1. An organisation is to temporarily increase the size of its workforce because of product demand. Outline requirements of the workplace that will need to be considered with reference to the health, safety and welfare of the entire workforce. This question is worth 8 marks and should take approximately 8 minutes to answer. Your time starts now.
This question asked you to consider the health, safety and welfare requirements of a whole workforce when the number of staff is temporarily increased. Your answers should have been structured around health and welfare, safety and work environment requirements in the workplace. Let's now look at each of those issues in turn. The health and welfare requirements centre on the need to prevent illness and infection by providing adequate welfare facilities, which will include sufficient numbers of toilets for all staff and adequate washing facilities to include soap, water and towels or air dryers, as well as showers if the work processes require that people have showers after they finish work. This also includes providing rest areas and facilities for making food and hot drinks. If we look at safety arrangements, that's concerned with the need to provide floors that are even and kept in good repair, making sure that walkways are kept clear and that suitable waste disposal bins are provided. It also includes making sure that staircases have handrails to prevent people from falling as well as doors and windows that are made of suitable materials and open safely, for instance fire doors opening outwards and window restrictors at high levels to prevent people from falling out of them. The working environment arrangements then include providing suitable workstations that can be adjusted for different types of people, including seating, footrests, adjustable chairs, and workspace that's adequate for each member of staff to give them enough room to move safely around the workplace. There should also be adequate lighting, both general lighting in the workplace and specific lighting at their workplaces, and a reasonable temperature should be maintained of at least 16 degrees for those working uh, in an indoor environment, 13 degrees for those who are uh, working where strenuous effort is involved. In addition, there should also be effective ventilation provided, which could be natural ventilation through the windows or forced air ventilation in the form of air conditioning, which should be maintained and kept in good condition. These measures meet the requirements in the UK of the Workplace Health, Safety and Welfare Regulations of 1992.